Number 10. Number nine. Precise layout work is the first step toward flawless joinery. When you're doing layout for either hand or power tool joinery, there's no better choice for the job than Woodpecker's Pocket T-Squares. Woodpecker's Pocket T-Squares are milled from a solid billet of top quality aluminum tool plate. The reference edge extends 3 8 of an inch to either side of the blade for increased accuracy. The quarter inch deep lip gives a positive reference but doesn't run into your workbench even when marking up thinner stock. The center of the pocket T-square blade has an array of precision machine holes on 1 32nd inch centers. Just drop the tip of a mechanical pencil in the correct hole and slide along the edge of your stock for perfect parallel scribing. Also notice that the edge is beveled at 30 degrees, putting the scale right down next to your work, right where you need it. These are nimble tools, easy to work with, comfortable in the hand, whether you're working on big projects or small. The pocket T-squares are available in three sizes, 3 inch, 6 inch, and 8 inch. The scales are graduated in 30 seconds and the scribing guides are on 32nd inch centers. If you prefer to work in millimeters, we have metric equivalents of all three sizes with one millimeter graduations and the scribing guides on one millimeter centers. Each size is available individually or you can get them as a set. The set also includes a pocket T racket so your pocket T squares will always be in plain sight and ready to go to work. Woodpeckers Pocket T-Squares, precise layout tools, as handy as the pocket in your shirt. Order yours today. Number eight. The Drill Sergeant is a specialized portable drill press that can drill consistent, straight, or angled holes in logs and is proudly made in the USA. The Drill Sergeant bolts directly to your workbench. Variable mounting points for the log lock allow angled drilling on either end of the log. Heavy-duty bushings and a hardened shank ensure precision operation and a long life. A built-in angle gauge makes holes accurate and repeatable, while the integrated safety lockout pin secures moving parts while making adjustments. Combine the drill sergeant with the low RPM, half-inch drill, and self-feed bits to power through all your log furniture projects. Accurate, repeatable angle drilling made easy with the drill sergeant. Number seven. Thickness gauges are used to precisely measure gaps for many applications in and out of the shop. The Model 67 thickness gauge has 13 leaves ranging from 0 0.0015 inches to 0 0.2 inches. Made from tempered steel, the straight blades are four and a half inches long and a half inch wide. The thickness of each blade is clearly marked. They can be used alone or in combination. First, determine the blade or blade you will need. Swing the appropriate blades out and then lock to hold them in place while keeping the unused blades out of the way. For example, for a .075 size, 
use only the .075 blade. For a .0215 size, you'll need two blades, the .02 and the .0015. You can use the gauge to check whether a slot or gap is within tolerance. First set the gauge to the minimum. If it doesn't fit, you are below tolerance. If it fits now, your slot is too wide. If your minimum setting just fits and your max setting doesn't, you are within tolerance. Outside of the shop, this type of thickness gauge is the tried and true method for setting a spark plug gap. Number six. Hi, I'm Keith Bow, creator of the Guy Pro. Today we're going to show you how to set up your Guy Pro properly to ensure the best performance. The first step is to familiarize yourself with the miter cam. It fits three quarter or 19 millimeter slot and is oval shaped so that it will rotate clockwise and engage approximately at a 13 degree angle when positioning the Guy Pro. Next, you need to determine the miter cam placement. Begin by positioning the miter cam into the saw miter slot in a position where you will be able to reach the leading edge of the workpiece and still lock. This will vary based on your saw. I recommend a practice run so you can see where the guide pro will land on the workpiece and adjust to give the ideal miter cam placement. Once you determine the best position, turn clockwise to engage the miter cam. Now unlock the lever and in one motion apply pressure to the guide pro handle while simultaneously feeding workpiece towards the blade. You want the feather to flex from the applied pressure. Then lock the lever when the feather is firm against the workpiece. Ideally, you want the workpiece and the feather to be within a quarter to a half inch of the blade. It's important to note that if the guide pro is not locking, the lever shaft may not be within the base. The lever shaft has to be within the base for the lever lock to work. Following these steps will allow you hands-free feed and provide consistent hold through the entire process. Be sure to check out more information on the Guide Pro at bow-products.com. Number five. Number four. Number three.
two. Number one.